Good Tuesday afternoon and welcome to Election Day. Hi everyone, Bob McGuire here in the Q2 Weather Center. And it looked like we were going to have quite a day today because the snow started so early this morning, but all we wound up with is a skiff here in the Billings area. But other places like Columbus wound up with six inches of snow. And here's the way things are shaping up right now here in the early afternoon. It's still cold. It's 26 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. We have an east wind at about 8 miles per hour. Other temperatures around the state, very cold, mostly into the 20s in eastern Montana. We've got a few 30s and low 40s out in the west from Missoula on down to Dillon. It's 38 degrees in Warland right now. But as you can see, the wind has been a big deal, especially across the extreme eastern edge of the state. Winds have been gusting anywhere from 26 to 30 miles per hour. Out in the west, wind's not so much a big deal anymore. So here's what's happening. We still have a wind advisory for 30 mile per hour winds up until about 3 o'clock for the uh, Fort Peck Reservoir, and also a winter weather advisory for one more inch of snow from Great Falls, but that stuff ends at 3. Could see one more inch of snow in the Beartooth Foothills. That stays with us until 6 p.m. tonight. In the meantime, you'll notice the Doppler radar shows you the first wave of snow that moved through. The next wave we were expecting here in the afternoon has just about made its way into the Billings area. It is snowing in parts of northern Yellowstone County right now, and as you can see, there's some more snow coming our way as well. So here's what our forecast model is talking about. That first wave has moved on through. You can see some more snow between Billings and Great Falls falls. That could move in later this afternoon. Then tomorrow morning, here comes another big batch of snow moving into the Great Falls area. We think it'll make it into Yellowstone County in south central Montana about 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. In the meantime, that moves out of here, and then by the time Thursday gets here, we're looking at partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies again. In the meantime, temperatures are going to be cool, 31 degrees next hour, cooling down into the low 20s at 430 tomorrow morning and back up to 24 degrees about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at KTVQ.com.